Uncle John. We want to start by saying that the Singapore teens are very grateful to the members of the church for having laid such an incredible foundation. The kind of miracles that has taken place over the past 22 years has been amazing. Oops. No offense, Uncle John. But you ain't getting any younger. Whoa! We want to know the plans for the next 10 years because... Because after that, you'll kind of be after us, right? Right? Right! Well, our mission statement is we gather here to know God and to make God known. And we want to grow in all these three areas in every church throughout the sea region. But why are Japan and Korea even in the sea region? They're not even in Southeast Asia. Well, that's a good question, Sarah. Let's ask Uncle Takeshi. He's on Skype. Takeshi, do you get that? Hi, everyone. Manami here. Great to hear from the Singapore teens. Well, the members of the leadership group in Japan felt that the direction and unity of the sea region was exactly what we needed to move forward. You know, the churches in Japan hit, took a significant hit early on in the millennium. But you know, it's encouraging to see that in the past few years, we have seen many, many non-believers getting baptized. Many brothers and sisters who were discouraged, restored back into the faith. And families becoming more and more spiritual. Our dreams for the next 10 years are to see all four of our satellite churches have full-time leadership. We want to continue to support the church in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, as well as the Sinuk Hospital. And our dream is to be able to financially support one more mission team in the sea region. Our plan also is to plant five new churches in Japan, as we continue to have a dream of one day evangelizing all of Japan. We want to continue to grow numerically and spiritually, and have dynamic families in all of our churches. As part of the sea region, the Japan churches are so grateful for all the love and training we receive. We feel privileged to be part of a region where there is so much grace and unity. All the brothers and sisters in Japan love the sea region and they love the fellowship at the conferences. We love you! Bye-bye! Bye! That's good to know because we're definitely planning to have more Sea Region conferences over the next 10 years. Speaking of conferences, there will be a Sea Region Teen Conference next June! <laughs> and I think quite a number of you are going to the Hope Youth Corps in India, right? <laughs> We've heard from Takeshi and Manami in Japan. That's you from Korea. Okay, you know, let's go for it. Hi, Singapore teens. Our dream for the next 10 years is to build eight more churches and to grow, uh, especially Seoul and satellite churches, to grow by 2,020 members. And not only that, uh, we are planning to uh, grow our campus ministry and youth and family ministry and to uh, have a lot more uh, full-time staffs uh, working for the churches all over Korea. Um, please pr pray for us and we love you very much. Bye-bye! Alright Vincent, what would you like to tell us about Malaysia? Well, hello from Malaysia! It is our hope and our dreams and our prayers to see a church planted in every remaining state of Malaysia over the next 10 years. Now we'll hopefully see about 10 to 11 churches sent out. To do that, we will continue to have many deep teachings and training programs to prepare our disciples in all aspects of their lives to raise up as many disciples and many leaders as possible for the next 10 years. We want to continue uh, obviously with our work with Hope Worldwide. Hope Worldwide Malaysia has done amazing. God has blessed us in so many ways that we could not even imagine. And we are very excited that you know, Hope Worldwide Malaysia has been self-supporting from the very beginning. And we hope to continue to do so uh, as we continue our partnership with corporate sponsors, uh, government agencies, and we want to see that continue to grow. Over the next 10 years, we hope to baptize all our Kingdom kids 
At present, we have churches in the following cities. We hope to have full-time people in all of them by decade's end, as well as starting new mission churches every two years in conjunction with the Singapore Church, similar to the one we started in Kuching two years ago. Kuching is a Malaysian city on the island of Borneo, and the only way to get there is by plane. Instead of forming a mission team first, we just made mission trips. Our singles booked budget airlines way in advance, and then we would fly over to that island, evangelize for the weekend, have a Sunday service, and then study the Bible with people, and all fly home on Sunday night. And we would use Skype in between trips. So you did your Bible studies and church services by Skype? Whoa, that's so cool! And now there are 13 disciples in Kuching, and we just sent a full-time couple over there. We, we hope to send many such low-budget plantings over the next decade. Obviously, low-budget does not mean low-quality. Amen? Uncle Harlem, can you tell us about the 10-year plans for Indonesia? Of course, Honya. We are so excited to reveal the vision for Indonesia until the year 2020. Indonesia is the largest Muslim nation in the world with 17,000 islands. So with much prayer and discussion among all the leaders of Indonesia, we are one in heart and soul to see Indonesia evangelized through God's power. Our plan is simple this, to send out five mission teams every year. And we already began this last year when five new mission teams were sent out. God blessed each of them tremendously and all have doubled within a year since they were sent out. Each church in Indonesia is taking part to send one mission team every four years which Jakarta Church itself sent at least one mission every year. You know, by the end of this year, we plan to send another five more mission teams. We have a consistent training plan weekly where disciples are trained to lead these mission teams. When mission teams are sent in the Southeast Asia region, we make this a collective effort of the whole church and make mission trips there consistently and provide lots of support. Every mission team is a work of the whole church. What excites us the most is also our future generation. God has blessed our youth ministry, and we have a growing number of teens and their family members baptized. Many of them want to become leaders as they share this ambition to evangelize Indonesia. By the end of 2020, we pray that God will see our vision come through of having more than 70 churches across Indonesia. And we'd like to thank our brothers and sisters in Northern Virginia, Potomac Valley, Delaware, and Ohio churches for your unseen sacrifice that is seen only by God. And we thank God for this wonderful calling to spread the good news. Uncle John, it looks like the plans for the next 10 years all fit into the Sea Region mission statement. A parent ministry with a strong emphasis on youth and family. A singles ministry with a strong emphasis on giving vision for a meaningful life. We'll be meeting in Bible Talks at least twice a month with every Christian choosing their own discipling partner and group. We'll also be continuing to expand our music ministry and deepening corporate worship, conferences, workshops, retreats, and Bible talk holidays. Deep Bible teaching to continue annually. Optional exam for certificate given. Prayer chain for 2011. A training program to start in 2011 over a five-year period. Every disciple in the sea region will go through at least six equipping classes, including First Principles of Becoming a Christian, as well as First Principles of Marriage, and First Principles of Parenting. There will also be First Principles for Singles. We're hoping to have the 300 kids who are old enough from our Kids Kingdom ministry to become Christians in the next decade. We will also continue to make our Rangers, Preteens, Young Teens, Youth, and Campus Ministries strong, which also includes strengthening the parents for continued growth and joy. We are also excited about our mission teams and mission Bible talks in all the churches. All right, so everybody, what do you think of the 2020 vision? Christian leader like my mother and father so I can 
be my own group and baptize my friends and be a good disciple like them and help carry out God's wishes and hopes. I want the church to double in 10 years. I would like to um, do well and set a good example for others. I would, I would also like to um, uh, help my friends become Christians. To have more people like, like now like, there's like thousand, maybe 10 years later, times 10. I hope that in 2020, all my good friends in both of my school and in church will become Christians and from 1,000 Christians in our church will grow to become 5,000 people in church as in this way people will understand, understand God even better. Um, I hope to see more people come to church and I hope um, to more of them will um, study the Bible and become Christians. And I want to be like my father because he is a good example and has a meaningful purpose in life. Yes, I would also like to be a Christian. Um, I, I want to be a disciple of Jesus. I also want to know the Bible very well and memorize a lot of the scriptures so that I can like carry the Bible along with me everywhere so I always know what's God's word and I'll be very good with it. So that they will like know about the Bible then they know that actually like God's the one that created them, not other people or anything or they just appear like that. When they feel trouble, they can ask God. There were troubles to Jesus and um, we did not trouble anymore. I like to be able to pray in front of the church. If I become a leader, I also like to um, help my friends improve spiritually. Uh, and they will become a Christian and they can know about God and then they can baptize and become a Christian and then they can go heaven. Yeah. So we can all see Jesus and um, live joy. Rejoice. Uh, we can go play soccer with my friends and all my friends will still be playing soccer with me here in the next 10 years. I hope that in 2020 we will also think of more ideas to help the needy and the poor. Yeah, I would like all my friends to be baptized and all my family members. Yeah, like my grandmother and everything. I, I want to be more like Jesus because He is the mighty Lord. Um, and He can perform miracles. I love my brother Joseph and I hope that we can not just be as physical brothers but we can also be brothers in the kingdom. So that we can go to heaven and meet Jesus one day.